Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat. Welcome back to a brand new map change video. And today I'm going to be showing you guys all the map changes which have been added in today's update. There is a bunch of map changes, and to be honest, some of these are probably the biggest map changes we've had in a while regarding storyline content. Also, guys, if you are new around here, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button and staying tuned for the latest Fortnite map change and storyline content on your number one map change content channel on YouTube. So let's jump into this and show off a few different things which is going on with the map changes. So, first off, I want to start off over at snobby shores because we've got some interesting stuff coming in over here this is something which i didn't really expect this week i guess i kind of did i've been predicting this for the last few weeks but i thought they might have delayed it just to kind of throw people off a little bit but you know here we have it we have the next viking house so at the start of the season i predicted that every two weeks we'd get one of these upgraded but i thought fortnite may have like switched it up a little bit and moved it to like the right one or something i didn't really mention that but that's what i was thinking but obviously they're going in the same sequence and i think it's pretty cool what they've done with it so let's take a little tour of this because this is the brand new viking location inside of snobby shores which hints to me that in the future we're probably going to get the actual viking island up there destroyed or maybe removed from the map i'm not too sure what's going to happen to it but we can probably expect something like that because obviously they're taking over snobby shores for a reason so yeah we have this section here it looks like it's been completely abandoned again they setting up kind of like little walls and stuff to fight off the people i don't know what they're doing with that but it's pretty funny we have this car which has been turned over maybe for cover this little outpost which has been set up and again inside the house it's kind of like they trashed the house and they rebuild it so it looks like we've got some sort of cellar down here which is pretty cool maybe some sort of prison where they're capturing uh, prisoners which i think is really awesome we've also got a few other things as well going on with the chairs i just find it funny how everything just gets tipped over i guess it'd be pretty fun for a fortnite developer kind of building this sort of thing you can see them having a little bit of lunch here who knows what they're eating but yeah <laughs> pretty funny let's move up to the next floor again a little bit of a refurbish we've got kind of the viking beds and stuff i found it funny why don't you just leave the old stuff like if they left the old stuff it'd be a lot more comfortable but oh well they want to sleep on a wooden bed and then again they have that archery range upstairs where they can practice firing the arrows and throwing the spears which is pretty cool and another little outpost type section up here these windows are a bit pointless because you can't actually look through them you can only look through them downwards but oh well <laughs> there we are we had the viking outpost right there so i think that's pretty cool guys so the next map change we've got for you guys is located at the dig site this is a pretty big map change and it's quite a major one we have the helicopter which is officially landed inside of loot lake now on this little island here and again facing towards kind of the shrine of the old cube kevin his remains right there now the interesting thing about this it looks like they have called in more kind of diggers to dig another dig site and when i say another dig site i potentially could be meaning another three dig sites because each one of these seems to always have roughly three diggers at now we have here we've got three diggers we've got another three diggers and then we've got two so we've got a pair of kind of roughly a decent amount we've got enough for four eight ten so enough for two to three dig sites so pretty decent what's going on there and potentially these are just going to go around loot lake and maybe dig another three dig sites in each corner of loot lake now if you guys do find any squares on the map where you think these are going to go and dig out remember to tweet me at postbox part of that location i haven't personally been searching for the squares at this moment in time but if i do locate any any so for example like here now this kind of looks like potentially it could be a dig site you see how it's got that like square around here so right here looks like it could be a dig site where one of the vans is going to go to if you guys know any other square locations potentially around loot lake that you find remember to tweet me them i always like to see what you guys have found so feel free to do that looks like we found one in that corner over there though and also this here actually had a little bit of a render issue so when the update first dropped you can see on screen right now that the original kind of design here was all full back up or kind of just respawned all of the rocks which needed to destroy him but it looks like Fortnite have kind of fixed that which could mean that something is going to happen in real time in this area hence the metal floor down here hence the storyline which is going on right there so you know basically what that means is potentially when a render issue or something like that happens within an update it means that this is going to change in real time potentially in the next few updates or like 
I don't even know if it's classed as an update, but like daily content, they could actually kind of change something in the map. It seems to be doing it recently. So we can expect these to move around the map. I'll keep you guys updated if anything like that happens. Anyway, moving on to the next map change, which is a really cool one and probably the best one in today's video. And a lot of people are hyped for this one. Quick shout out to everyone on screen though. Everyone who's been using my support credit code deserves a shout out. So shout out on screen to everyone who's been doing that. If you guys would like a shout out in future videos, go and tweet me at Postbox Pat or message me on my Discord and you'll be sure to get a shout out in future uploads. So this map change has to be one of the best ones, but not, I don't know, I guess one of the other ones is pretty close to this one. And this one is Tomato Town fully upgrading or pizza pit has officially been upgraded to the original tomato town type look theme slash thing on top of it and now it is bigger than Der Burger. Now we already knew this was going to happen. A lot of people have been tweeting me this but I didn't want to mention it. I wanted to keep it for the video. It's actually got leaked a few weeks, well not weeks, a few days ago when the actual Respawn vans have officially been introduced. We'll go over the respawn vans in a second. But yes, this is the brand new Tomato Town location, I guess you want to call it. If you want to call it Tomato Town, the official name for it is Pizza Pit. But let's jump inside and take a little look what they've done and see if they are similar to the predictions that I predicted for the inside in my last map change video. So I said they would introduce the stairs here. Correct, good prediction there again. I said they'd go up a floor predicted that correctly i didn't predict the stairs to be here but i guess that's just kind of like a symmetrical design and then again we have the upstairs which i predicted 100 in last video and we have it so you know another prediction there which is coming true which i'm really proud of i've always got a side of me which says why are you predicting these things back because they may not happen but usually my predictions are correct so we have a nice location which has been introduced here which has a ton of chairs on the inside which are really awesome we also have this little kind of like sauce area sachet area i've always found these really funny because you get strawberry flavor you can get grape flavor <laughs> grapes some grape flavor or like maybe blueberries i'm not too sure you can also get a few other things as well like tomato ketchup and a few other things like some i think that's either a pear or a lemon and tomato sauce obviously the classic and then this one i don't know what that one will be but yeah pretty cool you have some awesome stuff going on there then again this is the best part of the build is the brand new tomato head on top look at him he's finally returned thank you we have him back so looks like tomato head has got the upper hand on Durberger at the minute so what can we expect from Durberger in next week's update i don't think we'll see much changes to Durberger, but if we are to see changes to Durberger in not next week the week after i guess we may see the sign get relocated on here or we may see the sign being transported back over to this location by next week maybe or the week after and then in the final week we could see the sign being put back on top of the dirt burger but then again i think the tomato head still has the advantage on the height because of how tall the building actually is i think that's a pretty cool feature to have with the tomato head so you know dirt burger you guys probably need to upgrade one more story there is room for it so there is a potential that could happen they could easily extend out onto the roof a little bit and add some more stairs in around here or something and get another floor on top or even put stairs in here and move the toilets over to maybe here or here and extend the outside or even put seats on the roof like i did in my dirt burger build on my tomato town build which i did in Tilly towers you know they could easily do something like that so potentially fortnite may go and do something like that we'll have to see what happens regarding that sort of stuff i'm pretty excited for it so leave a comment down below what your prediction is regarding them anyway moving on to the next map change which has to be up there with one of the top ones this week as well this is regarding the stone people the love story we've always wanted you can see here the stone man is very shocked he's dropped his flower and he's not happy at all and it looks like the female stone woman has fallen into the lava so this is not good but potentially she's going to be able to get out of the lava and stand back up. I'm not 100% sure on that, but potentially that could be the case. We're going to have to see what's going to happen with this love story. It's a very sad ending. I didn't expect this to happen at all. So I'm pretty sad about this happening with her falling into the lava. But I guess it's a pretty interesting map change. A lot of you guys said to me that this isn't going to happen, that they weren't going to die, and they were just going to walk around to each other and go all the way around. By the looks of it, that's not the case. And we have officially seen the female one try to swim in a lava and it's not gone very well. But we'll have to see if she survives or not in the upcoming weeks. So we now have officially two tomato locations on the map. And that is these type things. We have the abandoned kind of rebel version. And then we have the original one located now in retail row, which is really exciting. Also, for those wondering about the respawn vans, the respawn vans are officially in every point of interest. Basically, if you go to any POI, you will find a respawn van. The respawn vans are in every 
single one if you go to anyone you will 100 find one so if you're looking for a respawn for your team go to a point of interest which is named a name location and you'll find a respawn van every single one has one the sunny one is in a little bit of a different location so if you're landing at sunny a lot and you need the respawn van location it's actually i'll show you guys the location of that one i'm not going to go over all the respawn van locations because there are a lot the uh, one over by lazy is just here and it's actually on the other side of the parachute so it's quite a bit away if you're fighting over here but that's okay and also the respawn van for the volcano slash I guess it's kind of the volcano. It's not 100%, but it mainly is sunny, but it's actually on this hill over here, so it's not actually inside of sunny. A few of them are like this around the map, but once you get used to the locations, guys, you'll be sorted. The locations aren't very hard to find at all. They're like in the open always. You're always going to be able to find a respawn van location. So make sure you go and understand or go in replay mode yourself or just go around the map. You'll probably find them just playing the game. Like There's no need to really look for them. They're dead easy to spot. Like They're probably one of the easiest ones or one of the easiest map changes slash things to spot. Obviously, they've been in since week one, but they just haven't rendered it in the battle royale side of stuff. So we now have another block being added in. And if I remember rightly, this guy Prudis has had his block before. I don't know if that's been updated or it requires a render change. I'm not too sure if he is the official builder of this one, but I'm pretty sure Prudis has already built a block. And this block to me, it's okay. It's not the best. I think the design of it doesn't get up there with the top blocks. I think it's very flat. I know you can't do much about that because the block is flat, but I'm not a fan of the design 100%. The depth has only really been put into the main build. The outer sections are just filler areas i think i could do this sort of stuff in probably about half an hour on the outside it's pretty easy to build some of the stuff on the outside they're just spawning in huge pallets and just dropping in i guess there's detail there and then in certain sections the mill building is very nice though i think the building they've done in the middle is quite a nice design the way the llama type thing the egyptian llama is kind of like spitting out the lava i think that's a very unique technique and i do like what they've done with that other than that i don't really like the build that much it's definitely not the worst block for season eight. The worst block, obviously. I don't like to keep saying this, but my least favorite block is the castle one, which we had for this one. It's pretty good. I guess it's probably not up there with the top ones, though. It's probably near the bottom with the castle and stuff, but not as bad as the castle, in my opinion. <laughs> I always rate these blocks, just giving you guys my honest opinion on them. And obviously, all the blocks are good to get in the game, but that's just my rating of them. This one just seems a bit bland compared to the previous blocks we've had, so... Yeah, it's all right. I do like the way the middle structure is. It's just the outer sections I'm not a fan of. I guess that's the same with every block. There's always something I don't like, but there's always something I do like. So let's take a little tour of it at the stuff I do like inside of this block. So inside of today's block, we have a bunch of cool stuff going on. We have these lava pits on the inside. I think the interior to this build is very nice. I feel like what they've done is a great job with this build. It has to be up there for one of the best interior designs. They've really thought about what they're doing on the inside. And there is quite a lot of depth being put into the inside as well, regarding like little details there. There and then which i think is a nice little touch we also have the chest location the legendary chest should i say which you can get on side of the throne i always find it annoying when people start putting in storyline items into the game i just feel like it shouldn't be necessary but i guess people just like to do what they want these thrones and stuff i don't agree with these being in creative because they're a big part of the storyline or i just don't think they should be added into the block I don't think anything that confuses people in the storyline should be added to the block. Earlier on when the block originally started getting added in, it was confusing a lot of people with the storyline. I know people were questioning me, like, why is there a second chair and stuff on Twitter? And I had to explain, but I guess you have to just realize the block is a creative build and you just got to kind of take it. Take it on the chin, guys, that it's nothing to do with the storyline. Anything at the block is not located or anything related at all to the storyline. So it's just a huge creative project which people do. Just consider that because I know it, it, just, it does sound daft, but there are people that do ask me all the time, like, why is this in the block or stuff like that. It happens quite a bit, so I'm just trying to explain that for you guys. But yeah, this block's a nice block. I don't really want to tour it 100% because... It's not my favorite, and there are. it's quite an easy one to understand where the chests are. You just kind of tour around the side. There are a few areas which I really do like about it. For example, this mine shaft here. This one is actually a really nice design. It's more of this side, like this side of the block that I'm looking at now is the side that makes me not like it, like where I'm flying around from all the way around here to here. The main building is really nice, so I do like that part of it. And then this building over here with this mine shaft, I do like this as well. I think this is quite a lot of thought going into this mine shaft. It's a really nice design, the way it's done, the way it kind of like curves through which I think is pretty unique for a Fortnite build. It's probably all destroyable. I'm not 100% sure on that, but you may be able to destruct it all, which I think would be interesting. But yes, this block to me would get a 5 out of 10 slash 6 out of 10. If it was just these two builds alone with the other side of the map being just kind of, I don't know, just 
I don't know what you'd put there, but if it was just these two alone, I'd give it an 8 out of 10. So let's just consider that and give the block an 8 out of 10. I do really like it in that sense. It's just the other things down the side being quite plain. That's my opinion. Though. But I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Hope you've enjoyed today's map change video. I always like to rate the blocks for you guys. If you've made it all the way to the end of this video, comment down below Derberger because potentially he could be moved back over to his home located all the way over there at Retail Row. Or they could buy a brand new Derberger sign for the top of it. Or should I say kind of statue i guess it more of his, his statue but i hope you guys have enjoyed don't forget to go and leave a like comment subscribe if you're new around here maybe consider hitting that subscribe button and keeping up to date with the latest fortnite content and go and support me in the item shop with code postbox part thank you everyone who's been enjoying today's videos and enjoying all these map change videos which i produce every single week don't forget to go and leave a like comment subscribe like i just said and once again this is postbox part setting out